Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, it's so, so beautiful, you know, this, this morning, bringing God's truth to you. Now, we've been dealing with false teachings. Praise God. It's destroying a lot of people. And what, what brings about false teaching? I'll tell you why. It is because of lack of understanding. Lack of understanding. That's why David so said, in all you're getting, get understanding. And let me tell you this. It takes patience. It takes patience to understand. Yeah. It takes patience analyzing the issue to understand. Sometimes we disagree with people, not because we are saying different things. We're actually saying the same thing, but we are unwilling to listen to the other person carefully. And, and, and many times, for example, in the teaching of the, the Word of God, many times what causes division is not because of the uh, we are teaching the wrong things. It's because we are understanding, our understanding is different. And then we lay hold on words and not understanding of the words. I found out to be true. Because one time I remember the Lord told me something. He said, look, if you want to understand it, thing, learn to define every word. If you can understand every word, if you can understand the definition of every word, you will realize that Many things you argue about are not really the way it seems. So, like I told you yesterday, you know, about my mom, bringing a name, God speaking to her about the name for her child, and God speaking to me about the name for her child. Now, if we were to hold on to the name itself, there would have been an argument. But it was when I said, okay, what's the meaning of the name that the Lord gave to you? And then he, she explained, and it was exactly the same meaning. You see, because God doesn't just give a name. I, I need you to understand that. Now, it's important, you know, when you have children, it's important you go before the Lord and ask the Lord, Lord, what's, what's the name of this child? Now, what you're actually saying is, Lord, because let me tell you this truth. Before that child was born, the name of that child is already written in the book of life. So you are going before the Lord and acknowledging that this child is from the Lord. And if this child is from the Lord, then the Lord will give you that name that he has written in the book of life. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, when the Lord gives you that name, now, it means, you see, already that child is a prophecy. That child is fulfilling what God, is in this world to fulfill what God has said. And like I said, God will not just say, oh, the child's name shall be John. And stop there. No, if that's all you hear, you've not heard right. You need to hear the meaning of the name. You see, because God deals with purpose, He doesn't just deal with names. If He calls something a name, there is a whole story behind that name. See, for example, Jesus was named Jesus because He would do this and do that and do that. See, so when, when they mention that name, it, it brings into an awareness all the things that the Lord have said. Just like our child, anytime I mention that name, I remember everything the Lord has said concerning that child. Praise God. So, to make you over words. But the words are not the problem. The meaning of the words are the real issues. So, if we are patient enough to begin to get into the meaning of the words, then we will understand there is no reason for argument. Praise God. So, he says still, you know, we're reading first, uh, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse, from verse 11. Now, we're in verse 13. He says still, we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Did you see that? This is God's desire for you. And let me tell you this. This is not going to happen to the body of Christ until it's happening to you. Because you are the body. of. So don't start looking out for, okay, is this thing happening? No, no, no. You, are you growing? Are you, are you what, watch this now. He says, till we all come to the unity of the faith. Are you realizing that you're growing? And those people you used to argue with. And then are you suddenly beginning to, beginning to realize that come? There was no basis for our argument. See, that that's what happened. If you are growing, the, 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 the thing about growth in, 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 in spiritual matters is this. Growth comes with patience. 
the higher you grow, the, 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 the more you grow, the more patient you become. And then the more understanding you will be. Because you don't take things on face values anymore. Because now experience has come in. So you see, growth comes with patience. So if you're really growing, you will realize this. That you're becoming more patient with people. When you listen to people, you're not just listening for their words and getting offended by their words. You're trying to pick what are they saying. Praise God. We'll continue tomorrow. And I just pray for you right now that the Spirit of God will take a hold of your mind and give you understanding of His truth and cause you to function powerfully in His truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.